Sometimes you might need to convert the crosstab query results into a table so that you can use data for any further analysis. A simple trick for doing this is to use your saved crosstab query in a make table query to create a new table with your crosstab results. We have a crosstab query sales summary crosstab. The query displays the summary of sales of products for four quarters. Start by creating a new select query in design view and add the crosstab query. On the create tab in the queries group, click on query design, click on queries, add the query sales summary by quarter. Add the fields you want to include in the new table. Convert the query into a make table query and run it. Click on make table, the make table dialog box appears. In the table name box, enter a name for the new table. For example, enter sales summary by quarter. Be sure not to enter the name of a table that already exists in your database because it will be overwritten. Select current database. Click on OK to close the dialog box and then click on run to run the query. Access displays the warning message letting you know that you won't be able to undo this action. Click on S to confirm and create the new table. When your query has finished running, you will find a new table called sales summary by quarter in the table objects. The table contains the results of the cross tab query. Open the table. The table has the columns selected from the cross tab query. If you want to limit the rows in the table, enter a criteria in the criteria row. For only summary of sales for laptops and desktops in the criteria row of the category field, enter laptops or desktops. Click on make table and name the table computer sales by quarter. Click on OK, run the query, open the table. The rows are based on the criteria entered in the criteria row. Since we enter laptops or desktops, the table has only those rows. You can save the query or close it. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.